دارو کیات رو گمیست. سیاسی در دارو نه. گارد هم حرف داده بس صدر. یه گارد کیات نه. یا اوتالیس. دیان کودی بل کودی دارم حرف کور جینی کیات. سومانه گم بکنی گیان. او علیون علاقه تو بی علیون کیه لگ تاب. دارو دیگه داشته. سومانی نیم اسقب اول و دارو. گمیست نعیب اسقب اول و بالله بالله کلاه. هذا إذا بقى قال ده بقى الله قدرت بقى الله قدرت قال راع دوتش قدرت بقى راع قال قربها كم قالوا ده ديتش لام قدرت بقى خريسين ده ديتش لام قدرت بقى أنا تقرأ بقى Good afternoon Twin Cities Pride How are you all? I am so excited to be here with you all to kick off this beautiful weekend and to celebrate all of the diversity of the LGBTQ community. Happy Pride, everyone! Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Subhanallah. Waka. Iddan qofka sahrad al-malru'eh. أسي كفارة نسي كل شيء إلى يكون مدرة إلى عمر الله دائرة نوجب طاقة الكع واو واو هدا إلى يكون مدرة أتكم أنت عمو قرطون إلى يكع بصاني مرت صمان الله مرت نعلو لي يعني إن والناقل الله دائرة هم جرتين معكربتا بالفير منت في عيد قيس وعيوه هم بلينا إسا إلى خنيسين تي أنت لحد وجد ثاني أنت هالجو جينا وكفر عصرة أسي فرحت يا هم بلينا لقى هذا إسا بالعد كعارن تقف كفر أنت كور أو ترى إلى يكون مدرة وكفر عصرة شيك حتى هذا هو قطبي أمورات هو قطبي حتى ولا جيل عليها وعلى اللي ما خربته وأنا قل عن ديره يا كمان تعمل وقول ما ورسان دين ما ليك بق ربيع ترقصوا قرار يقول يقول عد بلا مش محاك عكر وأنا قل عن ديرني ما وقعت سبحان الله بروف بهالك هذا طلع عن ديرني ما كرر هذي عكر هالك إن قنيس قنيس لو ما هتعلي وقت ولا قطر في حد للقريب سبحان الله سبحان الله سبحان إله وأنا قاعد إن عد حالنا هالك أكرر هذي عد بلا من شدار جب وردت كي ولو هيو عد الوقف أنا أجري رقفك أنت لا هذا الشان عدو بلا من الشيطان الرجيم وما أنت وحصد نعاية وليعدها وقرأ السارة وحيوة خارك قاف صدها سبحان الله عدو بلا من الشيطان الرجيم وحصل لي سكرة عدو بلا من الشيطان الرجيم سبحان الله إلهنا موت هلك أو بح وحر الصيب وضوض ما هنا عدو بلا من الشيطان الرجيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته brothers and sisters and dear friends hope you guys are well إن شاء الله guys this video is about Ilhan Omar I've been meaning to do this video the year before the previous year because every year when it's uh, Pride Month, um, she comes out with her outmost support. Now I want to make some dis uh, disclaimers here. Nobody's asking for anybody in any community to be harmed. Nobody's saying that. Nobody's saying that they shouldn't exist, etc. We hate the sin. Okay, we hate the sin. And if someone persists on the sin, we hate the sinner as well. But in this instance, most of the case, we hate the sin until we establish to ourselves who the person is and what's he about and he's promoting it. Now what's really funny is that you have these sellouts these people who are who would rather please the creation rather than the creator. Yeah, and literally, that they go far and beyond. Yeah, and the LGBT community screams this much, and you've got these sellouts that scream that much. You know, and her 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 faith, her being yeah, and Muslim, there's a big question mark. I'm not doing takfir. There's a massive question mark for somebody to go and propagate something where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran has said that he's destroyed nations. He's destroyed them. Warning, warning, and he's destroyed them. And Allah, we, we believe it's a sin. I've spoken to people in Speaker's Corner who have these tendencies. I've spoken to them. I have civilized discussions with them. I never want ill for them or I want them to be harmed. So let's not go to two extremes. Mohammed Ijab got in contact with Ilan Omar and made the tweet. Did she reply? No. And she is out there, outright, supporting. Can you imagine these people? If I went to the LGBTQT community and I told them, can you guys please vocally say we support the Sharia? Do you think they would? No. They would say, no, we're not, because we don't believe in it. Okay? I'm not going to blame them. I'm not going to say you're bad or evil. I'm going to say that's your opinion. That's, you don't have to. Then why is it that people like herself have to go out her way? Let me tell you why, guys. Like the Prophet Sallallahu said, yeah, in Bukhari, or Muslim, that you will follow the previous nations hand span by hand span. Literally, every little inch. If they go into a lizard's hole, you will follow them there. And he said, are you talking about the people of the book? He said, who else? Now, we know the people of the book have sadly diverted their ways, you know. And you can see that even some of them are pro-LGBTQT. And some of them are going their way. And if you look at Ilhan Omar, you can see that literally just to please these group of people. And if you think about it, when you go to these kind of places of being an MP, you know, we've got one here, you know, uh, I forgot his name. 
we've got an MP here. When you follow their ways, you need to understand, up there you need to show your loyalty. They're going to say to you, Allah and his messenger or our liberal values? You're going to have to say, if you say Allah and his messenger, they're going to say, bye-bye, yalla, see you later. But if you say liberalism, they'll say, okay, come. Look, come, now we open you with arms. Even they have conditions. And look at the LGBTQT and the, their lobby. Yeah? Look at them. You accept it? Yeah, good. Come, dance with us, hold hands. Whoa. Let's see the moment she comes and says, you know what, actually, this is a sin. You're finished. See you later. Bye-bye. And guess what? These people, and I wrap it on this, inshallah, I don't want to keep this much longer. Guess what? These people are never going to be happy with you. They are never going to be happy with you. Never. Deep, deep down, they're like, you're helping their cause. Do you think Nike, Adidas, and these big companies really support the LGBTQT movement? No. They're saying, is that where money's to be made? We support it. If the Sharia comes to be in a country, for example, if the UK become a Muslim country, Adidas, Nike, and all these companies are going to go in line with the Sharia values because their consumer base is who? The Muslims. All I'm seeing is this. These people are never going to be happy with you. And on the day of judgment, Ilhan Omar, Allah and his message are not going to be happy with you. You're going to lose this life and the hereafter. There is a big question mark on you. Massive. And anyone that supports you, may Allah guide them. Anybody that supports me, Allah guide them. I don't know how a scholar hasn't come and give a fatwa of your disbelief. Like, I'm not doing it, it's not my place. But I'm surprised how a scholar hasn't come and declared you a disbeliever. I'm surprised. Once again, I can't do takfir of you, it's not my place. I'm just saying there's a massive question mark on you. Yeah? Massive question mark. And we will speak the haq. Yes? We would wait, we'll see if you're going to change your way, etc. No, la, you're not. Big question mark on you and anyone that follows you and supports you. Yeah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you. I even saw a video of your uncle, they're claiming this to be your uncle, I don't know. You know, literally disowning, yani disowning himself from you. Yeah, may Allah guide you, brothers and sisters, do not follow these people. These people will take you into the hellfire. Literally, literally. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide her and guide us. But it's our duty to warn you against these people, inshallah. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.